When you add the project to Vapor, Vapor creates a vapor.yaml file at the root of your project. This file contains the project name, but also the options for each environment you have. Remember, you can have as many as environments as you want, and each environment has its own options, its own vanity domain, but it can also contain its own features. Now, something I want to change is the fact that both production and staging environments are using PHP 7.4. And if I visit both, tho both those environments uh, using the vanity domain, I can indeed see that they are using PHP 7.4. Now, let's fix this issue migrating the staging environment to PHP uh, 8 first, and then, if everything works as expected, we can migrate the production too. So, let's add over to our vapor.yaml file and update the PHP version, but just for the staging environment. Once, you do, once we do this, we can already issue a new deployment on a staging environment to migrate uh, from PHP 7.4 to PHP uh, 8.0. One cool thing about deployments that I didn't mention in the last episode is that when Vapor is doing a deployment, you don't face any downtime whatsoever in your environment. So here I am in the staging environment, and if I do refresh, you can see that I don't face any downtime whatsoever. Now, once the deployment is completed, I do expect to see PHP 8 here in this corner. So let's get back to our terminal and I can see that the deployment is now completed, meaning that if I refresh the browser again, I should see PHP 8 right here. And there we go. And because PHP 8 seems to be working great on the staging environment, I think it's now time to migrate the production environment to PHP 8 uh, as well. So to do that, you just have to go again to the um, vapor.yaml file and just upgrade the production environment to PHP 8.2. And then you need to issue a new, um, a new deployment, uh, but we are not going to deploy the staging, but we are going to deploy the production environment. And the rules are really the same uh, when you issue deployments in the staging or production environment. Uh, and you don't face any downtime whatsoever in production, as you can see here. We are using PHP 7.4, uh, but soon enough we will be using uh, PHP 8.0 in production without any downtime whatsoever. Let's hit another refresh, and we can see that we are using PHP 8.0 now, and sure enough, that means that our deployment got successfully completed. Now, one last thing I want to show you is how can you issue, or how can we create new environments in Vapor? Let's imagine for a second that the Q&A team also wants to have their own environment for testing. Uh, for that, we would just need to type vapor env q &A. Now, this command will basically perform two things. The first one is have a new entry on the vapor.yaml file. The second one is, of course, have a new entry in the list of environments of the vapor dashboard. But if you click on it, you will see that uh, no deployments have been executed yet uh, in this Q&A environment. Now, because this is a Q&A environment, it probably should share um, most of the options of the production environment. So let's do that by copy-pasting all the options we need to the Q&A environment. And then let's go to the terminal and issue a new deployment for the Q&A environment and our deployment is now being uh, executed. And while our deployment is being executed, let's recap a little bit uh, what we have said in this episode. In this episode, we have seen the very basics about environments. But keep in mind that environments in general that are a little bit more complicated than this. And that's because each environment probably have its own database or its own domain or even its own customized uh, deployment script. 
and we are going to cover all of this in future episodes. You don't need to worry about this at this time. Okay, uh, let's get back to our deployment here, which it's still being run, but sure enough, soon it will be completed. And as you can see, it's now completed. It's super fast. Um, let's click here in this link to see um, the site in this environment. And of course, uh, the Q&A environment contains the same content as production and staging environments.